Yeah. Okay, okay. So, so have you ever done any drugs? No, no, no. Okay. Okay, I'll praise, I'll praise. So now. I only drink beer. You drink beer? How much you drink? Two, two, uh, two cans, dead, three cans. Three cans, okay. So that's, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot of drinking. Why you drink so much? I got divorced like four months ago, so I started drinking again. So you so so you start so you got divorced and then that, that caused you to start drinking. So now okay now our people and, go and, through. and and uh, and and then she she uh I had my house uh -huh. and my cars and she brought the other guy. In. Okay okay I see I understand I understand you say you've been going through it you know say with the with divorce or whatever and the financial situation but at the end of the day how is the drinking gonna better you right because if your situation is already bad and then you saying you know what I'm gonna keep I'm gonna drink what what about that is improving the situation because for you gotta understand God says with Israelites one of those things that he did not want us to do is to get drunk give me that real quick about rising up early Isaiah 5 and 11 read that one for me. I'm going to show you something. Read this. Isaiah chapter 5 and 11. Woe unto them that rise up early in the morning, that they may follow strong drink. You hear what he said? He said, well, you know what the word woe means? Wait, wait, wait up. No, no. Woe means destruction. Right. He means death. He says death to those that rise up early in the morning and do what? Read it again. Woe unto them. He says death unto them. Go ahead that rise up early in the morning, that they may follow strong drink. He says death to those that wake up in the morning so that they can go drink. Right. So, that they, so they can go follow after getting drunk. That's what, that's what we keep reading. That's what I'm saying. That continue until night. That continue until night. I mean, they get up in the morning and say, you know what, the first thing they think about, you know, I'm gonna get me a drink. I'm gonna go drink. They wake up in the morning, the first thing they think about is I'm gonna get a drink. And then they continue to drink until wine starts to destroy them and flame them to where they now they changing who they who the person that they usually are right now they change now when you drink the, the if you drink a lot don't you change from being the person that you normally are to somebody else right. exactly it says though you drink until you get inflamed they're gonna say it listen to this brother read till wine inflame them brother how many brother you know any brothers that drink until and they start getting angry after they drink yeah so now, uh, have you ever dealt with that? Yeah. You you dealt you that you drunk until you just start getting angry. Yeah. You no, know I'm saying now that's a, now God is saying woe to those who do that. What's your name, brother? Danny. Danny, come back. You gotta learn, Danny. Guy, where you going? Yeah, no, come come back to the front. Come around the other side. Okay. Come come around to the front for me. Right, stand right there. I ain't got the word. Oh, you gotta get a word. Well, you gotta li listen before you leave, all right? Because our people right now, we 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 gotta realize that. When we doing these things, they get getting drunk. It's not helping the situation. Right. He says that's gonna that's gonna destroy you. That's death. You bring it to yourself because now you're getting drunk. You're gonna get angry, and then you might do something that you that, that you shouldn't have done. Read. And the harp, and the vi viol, the tabret, and pipe, and wine are in their feasts. But they regard not the work of the Lord. He said, because we'll think more about getting drunk and the music and, let, and just hanging out and chilling versus what God said. Right. That's what we got to realize that that's not what God wants, brother. You can't be getting drunk, getting waking up, saying, I know I'm going to get something to drink. I'm going to continue to drink until I get angry. And then that, because if you're, if you're already in a bad situation, are you able to fix it if you're drunk? Are you able to think clearly? Nah, nah, I got work. But, but... The other day, they gave me work, but I supposed to be here at 8, but I woke up at 8 or 5, so they were gone this much. Hey, okay, so now, so why'd you wake up late? I drank too much. Because you drink, so now you, wait, you whoa, destroy, so you're destroying yourself because right. now you're missing out on work. How you gonna, how are you gonna eat if you don't work? Can you, can you, will you be able to make money if you don't work? Nah, how you, you want I, I wanna get me a cheap. Well, how are you going to do any of that if you're drunk? If you're getting drunk, you drink today? Yeah, yeah, I just drank in the house. You get, you just, how much did you drink? Just a beer. Just one? Just, yeah, 24 ounce King Cobra. Okay, so I mean, do you feel drunk right now? No. Okay, so now, but this is something, okay, why you, you, why you got to make sure you're not going back now is continuing to drink and to get, and get drink getting drunk because God said there's going to be destruction for that. Right. God never put us in a, God never told us 
hey, you know what? It's okay to go get drunk. He said, yeah, you you can drink wine, but but don't be doing it so much to where now you're changing your state of mind. Give me that real quick about how the, the older man, how uh, be a soul. I think it's Titus. Titus chapter 2. Hey, the Apostolus. They drank wine all the time. Who? Apostolus. Apostolus? Who's that? The, 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 the ones for Jesus Christ. No, no, no. You say the, the, the apostles? Yeah, they, they, they would, they drunk wine, but they never got drunk. It would just be a little bit. It was never, it was never a couple cans. It was never, hey, you know what? I'm going to get it until I get angry. That's not a God. Right. God never said to do that. So you gotta, you gotta make sure you're not falling into that spirit. Read this. After that, Sirach 31 and 27. I read it. Titus chapter two, verse two. Uh -huh. That the aged men be sober. He said, this is what an aged man is supposed to do. You got kids? I had two girls and one boy, but they were with their mom now. They're with their mom now. Why are they with the mom? Because she's a uh, B-I-T-H. Okay, okay. She's, well, she's, you got, she's got some other guy living in my house. Well, let me check, check it out. I don't know the situation like that, but I can tell you this. If you're getting drunk, you're not helping your case. Right, if, right. If you're, out, if you're out here getting drunk, it's not helping the case, right? So you got to, so listen to how God says you're an older man like yourself is supposed to conduct himself. Read that again. Yes, sir. That the aged men be sober. An aged man like yourself, you look like an older man. He said you're supposed to be sober. You're supposed, to be, you're supposed to be able to think clearly and make rational decisions, which you can't do while you're drunk. Right. Read. Grave. Grave. You're supposed to be serious. You're supposed to be serious about fixing your situation. Right. About improving yourself. And you can't do that while you're drunk. Read. That's why he, the first thing he said, be sober. Right. Read. Temperate. Temperate. Meaning not angry. If you're drinking, you say you're flaming you up. You're getting angry. God says that's not temperate. Read. Sound in faith. In charity, in patience, the age one. So he says you supposed to be sound in, in faith, patience. It's but a soundness meaning you're able. Uh, it's a clear thought. You can't do that while you're drunk, brother. So you got to make sure you're putting yourself in the right position to help yourself to That's right. to get out of that situation to where now you oh you don't have your children because now if you don't have your kids, they took took them away for whatever reason and you're getting drunk. Do you think they're gonna be like hey you know what? Yeah, co 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 let's come back to this guy who's, uh, who's his, his um, whole thing is always drinking. He's always getting drunk. He's always angry right. because he's getting drunk. Do you think they're going to be like, yeah, yeah, let's, he, he should be good? Or are they going to be like, nah, we can't trust him? I was good for 20 years. I know, but now but now look at you. You say now you're getting drunk again. Hold on, brother. Stay and listen. Read the scripture. Come back. What's your name again, bro? Come back, Javier. Javier, come back. Read. Surat, chapter 31 and verse 27. Uh -huh. Wine is as good as life to a man. If it be drunk moderately. Javier, you got to understand that wine is good, but it has to be drunk moderately. If you continue until you get angry and upset, then you're never going to fix your situation. Right. You're always going to be right where you are in, the, in an oppressed state, dealing, dealing with the issue. The wine is not helping. Getting drunk is not helping. What you got to learn is that you're an Israelite and keep God's commandments. That's, That's right. what's going to help the situation. That's the only way our people will be able to better themselves. Give me that uh, Joshua 1 and 8. That's the only way our people are going to be able to better themselves is by applying God's law. It's <laughs> not going back into uh, the world and drinking and doing this thing, wandering the streets. That's not helping you. You got to help yourself by applying what God says. Read. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. Go ahead. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. He says the Bible is supposed to be in your mouth or in your mind. You're supposed to meditate on how to keep God's law. Read. That thou mayest uh, observe to do according to all that is written therein. Go ahead. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. He said because only then once we apply God's law will we make our way prosperous. Be there's, there's no prospering uh, outside of the commandments. Read. Right. And then thou shalt have good success. That's the only way we're going to be able to succeed in anything that we do That's is right. by applying God's law. What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 